Keep doing it. Jack. Yes, Jack. Yes. Oh, yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Doing Screen great freestyling. <laughs> My phone does not want to load anything. Oh. Lumens. Just to help okay. us out. Who is the author of our gene? Fire. It's only crediting the fucking guy who writes it now. God damn it. Um, just do original writer. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking. Uh, it, fuck, it, but, bro. Yeah, uh, Agretzko, fuck. season two, next year, baby. Yeah, bitch. Do it. Still need to watch the first one. Yeah, oh, really still good. need to do that. I don't watch anything. It's really fucking good. Thunder. Uh, it's not, it, it is very short. It's not even an app. An app yeah, I know. Oh, are the episodes really short? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they're like ten minutes. Oh, okay, I can do that. High Rise Invasion is what it's called. High Rise Invasion? Yeah. And a lot of the characters wear these sweet little masks that I really like. Oh, yeah. That's. What? And what's. Apparently, it's not good? Apparently, from what I. Like, I was reading this article, the guy was talking about how probably the best thing to have happened to Ajin was the author leaving. Yeah. Because, like, after he left is when all the cool shit started happening. Yeah. Like, that personality switch. Yeah. And that's why the fucking Kaito be, or whatever it, yeah, is just gone for the rest of the first season. Yeah. is because the, the dude didn't know what to do with him anymore. Because yeah. he wasn't writing that plot line. I mean, it's it's just... And speaking he of Vajin, created... where are they in development? Since you're looking up shit on your phone, you little bastard. What do you mean? Where are they? Well, yeah. Uh, like, I, well, I want that next season. Oh, yeah, I do too. What? There'll be an there'll be a third season. Of a, a, a third season of what? Ajin. Of Ajin? Well, you think they're gonna leave it like they did? God no! I haven't know. finished the second season. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Then yeah. I here's that article. How <laughs> how Gamon Sakurai saved Ajin? <laughs> because like up until he left, it was really like tropey. Yeah. And then after that, it's like fuck it. I'm gonna start naming all the chapters after video games, and it's gonna be sweet. Yes. Like, do it. let me, like... Like, there's a chapter called Battlefield Hardline. Because I've told you how <laughs> on his on his Twitter all he does is play fucking Call of Duty. Yeah. I mean, he, 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 all he, he turned... Like, he that's turned... why, that's why Sato is so yeah. into video games, because he, yeah. he's just like, fuck it, I want to incorporate my dumb video game bullshit into this. I mean, like, he, he turned... He turned such a, a boring, regular anime character into... In, into someone... Interesting. Into someone interesting and a just, lot just more complex. Just fucking sociopath. And, and just someone... To be you fair... Want, you fucking hate I, him, but I you want to see him do things. Yeah, he's awful, but at the same time, he's really cool. Yeah. I just have this one thing to say. What? They did actually set up his sociopathic... V Nature, uh, very vaguely, on. like it's Vague. not. You, you can tell. That you can, you can you, tell that it there's that something it, wrong with him. Yeah, you and can tell I will where credit it branched that, off the original from. author for that. Yeah, but then he went and wrote a thing that's just like fucking. It looks cool. It like the characters look cool, but let me look at what that article was saying again. Because apparently it relies on like a lot of like fucking fan service bullshit. Yeah, and there's just painting shots up the ass. Well, that's... Well, isn't that some of the best but, things anime But that's, like, 80% of anime. Yeah, I know. Oh, no, that's more like 30%. More... 40%. 70%. No, that's too high number. 60%. Fuck you, you bastard! You did it! It... Fall damage off is nothing. Bathtub. He's... Open up to me. No. Let me ride you. No. Kill these thin mummies. They may be thin, but they sure have some weight behind their attack. Oh, they hit like heavy mummies. Yes. <laughs> they are fucking trucks. Look at these fucking transformers. <laughs> They're in disguise. They're in disguise. <laughs> Yeah. I can make me. It's the bandage. Is band bandages? Yep. Look at that bathtub run into that wall. 
Yep, just straight up teleport through walls. Yep. Just fuck it. Now fuck fall you. off again. Fuck you, sir. Right in the ass. 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 Okay. Without any loot. Oh, gone too far. There is no more return from that. I don't care. <laughs> What are you doing? Me? Yeah. I was reading that article. You're awfully quiet. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, we, holy shit, are we already at? Okay. Yeah, yep, I are. told you, I'm going straight for this shit. Good. I want it done. done. Yeah. Done. I mean, no. we're getting through it at, at, uh, at, uh, at quite, quite the speed. Yeah. We'll be lower level than what we were last time. But, but we're we'll just, just reloading reload. the save anyway. Yes, exactly. Um, it might take a smidge longer in fights, that. but, you know... Gotta take care of these little children first. Gotta be murder them, them. Murder all the children. Kill them. They all this deserve joke. death. It's not as <laughs> fun this time. Genie, kill these children. I hope so. <laughs> That's why I'm using him. Robin Williams. Not Robin Williams. Yeah, it's Dan Castle and Meta. Which is sad because I would have loved Robin Williams. I don't know. I I really like. I really like fucking Dan. He's Homer Simpson. And you can hear it, too. You can hear it. Yeah. And I hate you for pointing that shit out, by the way. Because now you cannot... You just color him yellow. Dude, he was on an episode of Parks and Rec, and I'm just like, that's that's Grandpa. That's Grandpa. That's Grandpa. Because, <laughs> cause, like, he wasn't doing, like, a Homer voice. He was just speaking in his, like, natural... He, he was, he was like, a radio guy. Yeah. And he's just speaking really quietly. Like, he's being, like, a radio DJ. He's trying to... Sound all smooth, and he just sounds like Grandpa, and I'm like, that's fucking amazing. <laughs> oh my god! It's like I, I, I can You're dying. hear him. Continue to die. I'm not Goofy, and I'm not Jack. Fuck you both. I don't need you to waste the space. Beat him up. There's one bastard. Listen to those, listen to those rug rats. Yeah. Yeah, we already addressed this, but I don't think we addressed it in this recording. Yeah, that's, uh, Phil, Lil's actor, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. Or is it just Lil's? I, I don't know. No, you're also, right. Also, Shin-Chan that one time. Yeah. Yeah, that was weird. I don't care, Shin-Chan's fucking amazing, changed my mind. Not the dub it. I'm thinking of. <laughs> It's like, hey, let's take this, like, very vulgar kid show and remove all the vulgar stuff and make it just a kid show. Yeah, let's make this show boring. No, I need the elephant dance. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that was in that dub. I didn't see it. Although, to be fair, Come I only on. watched, like, one episode. Kids, dead okay, Funimation's dub of Shin Chan is really great, actually. Oh, really? Yeah, cause okay, cause Shin Chan, a lot of its humor is based on like like not a lot, but but some of it is based off like pop culture. Yeah. So a lot of those jokes would not make sense in English because they're referencing Japanese celebrities and stuff. Yeah. So instead, they basically like re rewrote the same jokes. But made them actually kind of work with like celebrities that they would apply to. Oh, really? Yeah. Huh. It's pretty. It's it's pretty okay. interesting. As of now, we are level thirty. I got us to level thirty-seven. One more level for that, and we'll be we'll have leaf bracer when we do it. Okay. Now onward. Although I think it's annoying that they changed like all the names of the characters. Yeah. Because okay, it's 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 weird because fucking. Like, they kept some of the characters' names still Japanese, but then they changed some of them to be English. It's like, why? What's wrong with the English? Like, like, cause, cause, now we're having all these Japanese kids, and most of them have Japanese names, but then for whatever reason, this one kid's named Georgie. <laughs> and Penny. And it's like, what? why? If you're, if you're, like, with Case Closed, they did it to everybody. So that's, it's, I mean, it's not fine, but, I mean, it's, 
okay, whatever. It's I it, forgot but, about Case Closed. Case Closed. I have yet great. to watch any of Case Closed. It's watch watch some it, of it yeah. and then you're good because it, it's on my list of things fucking, to watch. Does that count? It's at like 800 something episodes. I never. Yes. I even if you skip like I will probably if I do ever get into it. I will probably yeah. go. Didn't you say that Ghost Stories is on Crunchyroll? Yes, dub. Good. Good. Oh, it because is. I dubbed? do not on want to go yeah. to fucking Good. Crackle to watch goddamn Ghost Stories. I want to watch Ghost Stories. I love Ghost I Stories. I want to watch Ghost death, Stories with people. But Crackle is the worst thing ever. I don't think it's that bad, but yeah. It has a commercial. It, it, its videos have a commercial like every five seconds. Oh. And the commercial breaks usually take like 60 seconds. Okay. It stretches a mu- it's, it stretches like an hour and a half long movie to be like almost two and a half hours. Boss fight bitches. No thank you. Crackle can die and I'm not <laughs> buying the premium service. Okay, apparently they're at over 900 well, episodes now. Of what? Case closed. Okay, it's, I, it's still going? Mm -hmm. What the fuck? You didn't know it's still going? No! <laughs> I, th I just thought I just thought it was like uh, some weird early 2000s anime. No, it's been going since like the mid 90s. Oh no, no fucking! Um, th this is the same blog I used to look at, but they they basically go through every episode and, and like point out the ones that are actually important, and it still adds up to like half, more than half of the amount that yeah. you know. <clears throat> Or er, statistics. Here we go. <laughs> Total episodes so far: 900 t 910. 910. 910. How main plot? And y'all are making fun of Naruto. Does this does this does this kid grow up? No. No. So he's like he's like the South Park kids then. Yeah, it's like Simpsons rules. Bart Simpson's still ten years old and he's like. And y'all were making fun of One Piece. And yeah, Naruto but this and... this is different. Yeah, because this isn't I'm, I'm, a show no yeah. Every episode is like a one-off, so you can skip a shit ton of it and not miss uh, out. I'm I'm I'm. It's because I I'm not making I'm not making fun of One Piece. I mean, I'm making fun of Naruto. Because, like, like we said, it's just it's just filler and dumb shit most of the time. Okay, this dude's list, cutting everything down, cuts it down to like 380 episodes out of 910. Closed. For case closed. Yeah, only 380 yeah. actually have important things happen. Yeah, like to the overall plot. Because I because that's yeah. much more man. That's a much more manageable. I yeah. can't speak manageable number. Manageable. Because manageable. I. Because I like I like One Piece. I like Case Closed, but yeah, I'm never gonna watch all that. No, <laughs> most of us won't. <laughs> I don't know. The movies are pretty cool though. For One Piece. For Case Closed. For Honestly everything. though, with there's one that one where he hangs out with Lupin. That's pretty sweet. <laughs> with, with One Piece, if you you could probably get away with watching the movies only. Because they just keep making movies that contain entire arcs, and yeah. really condensing a lot of stuff down. And they have Avril Lavigne Nickelback covers. Yeah, so, but you you get what I'm saying. You, you could probably get it. Just, just I don't know. Like One Piece has never really interested me, so. It has some cool shit in it. I bet it's it does. Because you don't love the fanservice. Yeah, I don't. You don't love Nami's plot. Uh, not Nami's black. Her breasts. Oh. I thought that's what I, stood for. I have no interest. I have no, like, sexual interest in any of the female characters in that show. Everyone looks. Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah, the proportions and the way everyone looks, it bothers me. And I, I will admit. It's a I, unique art style. I love that's for the sure. author basically saying, This is, this is my mom. Y'all, I'll do what I want. Yeah. Do I respect the author for that. Yeah, I respect anybody who's like, fuck your opinion, I'll do what I want. Yeah. Like a Deki Kamiya. Yeah. 
Have, have we taught? Have we said that how much we love it? <laughs> Give me I this. probably have before several times. But that now. thing on focus testing where he was just like, yeah. So we brought in a bunch of kids to play Beautiful Joe, and all they did was shit on all the things I like about it. So I basically just told them to fuck off. I'm making the game out the way I want it. Yeah. And Beautiful Joe was great. And yeah, I got like nine out of ten from like every fucking review site. Man, that's, that's how you do it. Focus testing ruins games. It can. It yeah. can. Remember it, the, sa the same thing goes for movies, too. Yeah. Trying to appeal to the lowest common denominator yeah. can end up making you appeal to nobody. I mean, I mean the whole reason that, that a lot of movies, like, uh, like uh, start out like they're going to go really well, but then they get fucking destroyed by, like, producers and shit... Who, uh, who try to take over the project and try to change things out of it. And try to change things about it because they think some parts of it are too risky to do. But yeah. it turns out all of the things that they took out that they thought were too risky just end up destroying the entire the entire movie altogether. But I mean that's what that's what happened to like the new the newest Fantastic Four film. Yeah. That's exactly what happened, is because they they saw the the dark, like uh, gritty fantastic film, Fantastic Four film that the guy wanted to make, and was like, no, we can't, no, that's that's too scary. It's just gonna scare people away. It's too risky. We gotta gotta change all these things. Gotta bring the actors back, put wigs on them and shit. What? And then it fucking ruined the entire film because Wait. the editing was just that bad. Hmm. Wait, what? The but newest wigs Fantastic on. Four movie. What, 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 wait, what? Fanta fa fan Force fa Yeah, I know what, what movie you're talking about. Yeah. What happened with it? Okay, originally, originally the director was no. aiming for uh, it to be you like bastard. a... What? Now I'm talking. Keep going. Ignore, ignore uh, me. Yeah, originally... I, I'm in the fight. Just, just ignore me. Originally, the, dire the director was... Uh, uh, made a Fantastic Four film... That was very, that was like super dark and like really, uh, really gritty with a lot of serious, with a lot of serious character to it. And then basically, uh, the, his producers and like, uh, people who were like, like, y you know what I mean. Yeah. With, with like Marvel and shit and, yeah, you gotta, and stuff you gotta... like that. They, they looked at it and they thought, that all of its darker elements and all of its uh, more serious like story to it was too risky to put to uh, to an audience. So basically, they Fuck. shat all over the fucking Ether? director, and then and then they uh, they had the editors. Edit the film in a in a much lighter, more. Uh -oh. Yeah, because that movie more, seemed like it was yeah. gonna do some dark oh, shit, but and it never then, did. And then they and then they had they had to they they had to bring actors back to redo scenes so that the movie could be more make more sense. Make make to try to attempt to make more sense. Okay, nothing happened. Go on. But uh, to to attempt to try to make it. Makes sense in the new edit in the new edit of the film, and they ended up taking out everything interesting in it, and they ended up making the editing of it so confusing and so terrible that it just ruined the entire movie. Yeah, but that's exactly what happened. That's what happens, man. Because they just because is because the directors it's it's always the director wanting to make risks with the film that could create a more interesting film, but then the producers are like, no, that's too far, we can't do that. Um, people won't react well to it. And then they just end up just fucking it over. I feel... I mean, I mean, I mean it's easy to... I mean, it's also easy to say that sometimes directors can take that... T their, their type... Like subject matters and shit like that way too far and that 
dying it down can be a, a, a good thing in some instances. But still, focus testing is, it's, is usually kind of to a film or a game's detriment. Yeah. Is what I feel. I feel like the same kind of thing can go for, like, Kickstarter also. Yeah. How, like, everybody gets that image in their mind of, yeah, this is what this yeah. is gonna be. And, like, then all the fucking goals get hit, Mighty and they have to nine. add them. Okay, Mighty Number 9, half the situation with that is because of all the Kickstarter tiers that they happen, where it was like, yeah, so we're gonna port it to every console imaginable, even the ones that aren't out yet. That fucking... That's what made that game take so long to get fucking made. Because they were trying... They had to limit what they could do with the game so it could be on everything. Still kind of they, they really... Bit off more yeah. I didn't care about Mighty Number no. 9 from the beginning, so I feel like, you know, I get to be an entitled douchebag about it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. What, what's that... What's that... What's that fucking... That... Fucking game that we were talking about. It, it, it's another Kickstarter game. What's the name? No, the one that got picked up at, picked up by Sony. The one that everybody hates. Shinmu? No. No Man's Sky. No Wait, Man's no, that Sky. wasn't Kickstarter. That that's, was a Kickstarter, though. I, I talked to you about this at work. I just saw an update, actually. Apparently that game got a big update, like, yes, today. Yes, it did. Because... Because they... Because, like, like give it, give it to the... To the uh, to the developers of the game, they're still working on it to make it a better yeah. experience. To try to save it, to try to save their baby, you know. Yeah, at least it's not like fucking Metal Gear Online, where it's like, yeah, yes. there's some cool shit in this game, but you know it's Konami, so yeah, you yeah. patch the game once after it comes out, and now yeah. it's been three years later, and the fucking servo is still yeah. overpowered as shit. One shot sniper rifle. <laughs> okay, but, shoot me in the toe and I die. Full yeah. Health. I, I talked to I talked to you about the whole No Man's Sky thing at work. Yeah. And it was basically the same thing. It was like at first they were a Kickstarter game, and they had this, and uh, they had this uh, they had this idea for an artistic exploration type game where you could do it, where you could explore the universe and discover things, and it, it would be more like a, just an exploration type puzzle type experience. It wouldn't be it wouldn't be very action orientated, but then Sony came in, and then and they were like, "Oh, you want to fund our game? That's a bi that's our big chance." But then, as time went on, Sony was like, "Okay, uh, basically as a folk basically as like uh, as kind of a focus test esque uh, kind of thing." Add all this bullshit in. Add, that would we want you to, to add in. People. We want you to add in like uh, yes. combat and multiplayer and uh, survival. Except elements. the game didn't have multiplayer. Yeah, and all of this other shit. And then they have to add hair to Sony because Sony is supplying them all the funds to do this. And then as they're trying to put in all of this shit that they never expected that they would be putting into this game, Sony is like, okay. When are you going to be done with this game? We need it out, like, yesterday. And so they have to speed it up more and more and more until they just can't add anything anymore. And they can't work on the stuff that they're supposed to. So they just release it as it is. Because their time frame is gone. And so now, what they're, what, what they're trying to do is update it is continue to update it to try to make it the game that they have promised. Yeah. See, but the thing people. with that, though, is the damage has been done. Yes. It's, there's, like, yes. not... The damage is already yeah. done, but at least they're trying... They're trying to, to salvage pick it. up the that's, promises that they that's made. That's pretty good. Especially, the, especially the promises that Sony wanted them to put into the game. <laughs> Which they were, like, contractually required to do because of Sony. Yeah. Which is... Which is, is, sh is such shit. Focus testing is bullshit. Yeah. That is the moral of the story. Make the game you want to, kids. No, I think the whole Fuse thing is yes. fucking amazing. Is the perfect example. Because, like... 
if you look at the early trailers for that game, it has kind of an Overwatch vibe to it. And it was even, it was yeah. called Overstrike originally. And then fucking oh, they brought in these like kids to play test it and all that, and they're like, yeah, this looks like some dumb baby shit. Make it edgier. Then they make it edgier, and everyone hates it. And then a few years later, Overwatch comes out. Fucking literally yeah. everybody I mean, is into Overwatch. They just, yeah. they just released a cute fucking little hamster. Exactly. Hammond is fucking great. <laughs> Hell, that's half the reason I was even yeah. interested in Overwatch. I'm like, oh, this first-person shooter. It's, I mean, got like a Pixar vibe going yeah. on. That's fucking sweet. I mean, that. I mean, I guess. I guess you could say that was just like the thing at the time. People wanted more edgier games mm -hmm. at that point. But nowadays we're like we want we want games that are more creative that that are more like uh that are more like unique unique looking, I guess. I don't I don't really know what to say about that. It's just that tastes change over time. Yeah. Um, I mean you have I mean like Fortnite Fortnite is like one of the biggest games right now. And it's super cartoony shit. Yeah. I I don't think Fortnite's cartoony vibe has as much charm as Overwatch. Though. Nah. Eh. I feel like it's <laughs> trying too hard to piggyback off Overwatch's cartooniness. It might have. I mean, I mean. That's just what it feels like to me. It doesn't hit me the same way. I mean, Fortnite was was Fortnite was announced. I think. I think I, I think like a year or two before Overwatch even came out. There it was could a, have been, but there, nobody there cared a, about I, it. I until remember it was... there being a trailer for it a long time. Yeah, ago. Yeah, I do too, because it was going to be that zombie thing. Yeah, but then which, the, which that's what it released. The battle to be. Royale thing. Because happened. yeah. Mm -hmm.